Hi, welcome back to my views and news. Three new stories for you. Firstly, an Ethiopian Archbishop oh, has leveled serious criticism against the Prime Minister of Ethiopia. This Archbishop a few days ago talked about uh, the conflict in Amhara and he sent an indirect message to Fano fighters through his earlier speech. This time, I think. Uh, Target was his speech. Target of his speech was the Prime Minister of Ethiopia. What did he say? Secondly, Argo a regional, Argo zonal a government uh, is involved in a dispute with the Amhara regional government. I reported that a few days ago and I have an update for you. Thirdly, Oromo Liberation Army has shown captured weapons and ENDF soldiers who have been taken prisoner in the past few days. Videos, pictures are being shared by the Oromo Liberation Army. Firstly, viewers, uh, an Ethiopian Orthodox Church uh, Archbishop has leveled serious allegations against the Prime Minister of Ethiopia and against government forces. What is the name of this uh, Archbishop? What did he say? Did he name the Prime Minister? Name of this uh, Archbishop is Abone Locus. Abone Locus is an Archbishop of the Ethiopian Orthodox Church. A few days ago, Abune Locus was heard talking about the conflict in the Amhara region and he told the groups in Amhara to fight in mountains, deserts, not in public places, not in town cities. That was an indirect message uh, from Abune Locus. Uh, he seems to be very outspoken, by the way, because most of the church archbishops are very diplomatic when they speak, but uh, Bune Locus was very outspoken when he spoke about Fano and he maybe told Fano to operate not in town cities, but in mountains, deserts, etc. This time, target of his speech was the Prime Minister of Ethiopia, it seems. Without naming him, I think he mentioned him. He said, Ethiopia has grown a bad boy. Almost quote unquote, I'm translating his speech. Ethiopia has grown a bad boy. Who is this bad boy? Obviously, uh, he was talking about the Prime Minister of Ethiopia. He says, Ethiopia has grown a bad boy. They killed a woman. They tore his belly. They tore mother's womb. They removed kidneys. That is what he said. Who is he referring to? Fano groups and pro Fano outlets have been leveling similar allegations against security forces. That security forces are raping women, killing women. Uh, and similar allegations were leveled by Tegarai to against uh, Iranian forces, Ethiopian forces, uh, militia members when they were jointly operating in the Tegarai region of Ethiopia. I think his speech is about the conflict in the Amhara region. Without naming the Prime Minister of Ethiopia, he uh, implied that Prime Minister of Ethiopia has turned into a bad boy and he's behind uh, the killing, the massacre of people in the Amhara region. Uh, I want to make one point about the speech of the Archbishop. A few days ago, we heard from Abune Irmias, another Archbishop, and he spoke in the context of what happened in Lalibela, and he criticized uh, Vano fighters, and after that, we saw a barrage of criticism against Abune Irmias, and he went quiet. I think it's very difficult for church Archbishops to be silent about what is happening in the Amhara region. Amhara region is home to millions of Orthodox Christians. I think Orthodox Church draws its main support from the Amhara region and from Addis Ababa. And uh, the region is now seeing an internal uh, conflict, a warlike situation. 
government says that uh, foreign fighters are using monasteries churches as sanctuaries uh, if you remember the first operation launched against uh, gojam foreign fighters was at a monastery in gojam in which uh, government claimed to have killed hundreds of foreign fighters skandar was there to allegedly but he managed to escape so monasteries of the church are being used by foreign fighters claim the government if monasteries are being used where is the church why isn't church condemning the use of its premises by foreign fighters why this is a very important question it means church is in a difficult position church if church starts supporting foreign fighters obviously government will label church as pro foreign Uh, but on the other hand, if church uh, starts opposing foreign fighters, people of foreign fighters would uh, uh, criticize the church, and church cannot remain neutral because uh, Amhara is its support base. So I think that uh, the unity of the church is uh, unity has already been in danger. We saw that Tigray largely split. A group from Romia tried to split. now we're seeing another challenge for church how to ensure its neutrality about the conflict in the amhara region the uh, two patriarch uh, two archbishops have spoken so far abu nermias and abu nelocus both uh, abu nermias criticized fano fighters uh, abu nelocus criticized fano a few days ago now i think he is criticizing the government accusing the government of uh, killing of civilians in the amhara region secondly viewers the Argo zonal government officials have been uh, fired. Administrator has been fired reportedly. New appointments have have been made, but that is leading to a split between Argo zonal administration and Amhara regional government. I did a video on that a few days ago. I got an update last night. No improvement in relations so far. uh we know that ethiopian national defense force raised argo militias to fight fano fighters argo militias have been supporting the ethiopian national defense force in some cases they have been operating independently keeping fano fighters away from argo zonal borders but for the last one week or so these militias reportedly are at camps they have refused to support endf they have refused to support amhara forces amhara police amhara militia now they are protesting against the uh, appointment of new uh, administrators to the argo avi zone by the way argos are now important players in the amhara region both sides of want argos to be on their sides fano fighters want argos to support the struggle government wants argos to be on government size that uh, and that is why a deal has been signed between argo democratic movement and amhara regional government a few days ago argo democratic movement agreed to surrender to lay down arms and government agreed to give some sort of autonomy uh, administrative autonomy to argo people fano fighters are also trying to engage argo groups reportedly they are offering argo groups that argo groups can have uh administrative autonomy if they start supporting a fano fighters it means that argos are now important players uh, to the extent of waghem razon to the extent of uh, argo avi zone and argo avi zone is very strategic because if argo avi zone turns against the government it starts supporting fano it would be a big blow to the government because if if that if it happens the fano fighters can easily gain access to bani shangal gomas can easily uh advance towards uh, bahirda regional uh, capital third viewers oromo liberation army has intensified its attacks on ethiopian national defense force several convoys have been attacked uh, a camp was uh, attacked uh, this week by ola members and ola members are now sharing the results of their uh offensives against security forces videos pictures are being shared by the romo liberation army a new video shared a few hours ago showed dozens of endf soldiers taken prisoner by ola members secondly uh, dozens of uh, small arms were also shown by the romo liberation army the small arms were captured by the romo liberation army in different operations 
several light machine guns, rifles and other uh, weapons can be seen in this video published by Promo Liberation Army a few hours ago. Thank you. 